Okay, this video is going to show you how to create a fin for your rocket. So we were going to use Autodesk Inventor. So if you double click this, Autodesk Inventor will pop up. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to have a new screen in here. So you're going to want to go to New and do a standard IPT or a part drawing. Once you get that, just remember this is all your tools up on the top. It's called the, bra or, uh, the ribbon. The browser is on the left side and that's where you can edit your drawing. This is the drawing screen. So what we're going to do is we have to make a sleeve that's going to go onto your rocket. First you're going to click circle and there's a little purple dot in the middle of the drawing screen. You're going to click on the center of that, drag out a circle. Then you're going to go back to the center and drag another circle. So you have two circles out there. If you right click cancel, we can then go to dimension and we're going to click on the outside circle drag that out and that dimension is going to be 1.25. We're going to then dimension the inner circle, click on that and drag it out and that's going to be 1.125. Okay, so this is the ring that your rocket's going to go in here and then this will support the fins out here. So we're going to finish the sketch and we're going to extrude that. And we have to extrude the ring, so make sure it's pink. Click on it and it should say one inch. If this isn't here, just click this little black arrow. It should be one inch and click OK. What you have now is the ring that's going to go around your rocket. What we're going to do now is we're going to create a plane on here so we can draw our fins. So you go over in your browser, click the plus sign, and you're going to find the XY plane, or uh, sorry, XZ plane. Click on that, and then when you go up to the ribbon, you'll see the plane and you want to go tangent to surface and parallel to plane. Now you notice that down here there's a yellow um, outline. When you see that just click and you'll get that yellow outline and then we're going to rotate to that and we're going to create a sketch on that drawing. So I'm going to start 2D sketch and then I have to click on the outside of this um, box and now I can sketch on there. What I'm going to do is now draw my fin. So I'm going to click the rectangle tool. And you notice the box is not the actual drawing. There's, you can see it's a different color on the inside. We're going to draw a rectangle in there, about centered. And once you get that drawn from edge to edge, we're going to dimension the thickness of the fin. So click on the top line, drag it up, and that's going to be 0.125. Right click cancel and then you can make this fin go a little bit taller uh, so it lines up there. We're going to finish sketch and then we're going to extrude and if we click on this and I rotate with the house button here you'll see it's going on the inside and we want it to come out. So right up here in this box there's a direction arrow. You want to click the one that makes it pop out and then click OK. This little yellow box here we don't want, so I'm going to go over to Work Plane, right click on Work Plane, click on Visibility. Now, we can change the shape of this, so I'm going to get to the view I can see it in, and then I'm going to start a 2D sketch on that view. Now keep in mind we have to have a flat surface for the 3D printer to work, so when you draw, don't make it a triangle coming out because then it won't be able to print it. So it has to have a flat surface. Make sure you go to the outside of the lines, the purple lines there, and then I can make my shape however I want to have my shape. Okay, right click cancel, and then we're going to finish sketch, and we're going to extrude again, but we're going to extrude the part we don't want. So it's pink, the part I don't want, and I have to go then and cut that and click OK. So now I have one fin on my rocket. Okay. Now, in order to get this all the way around, there's a circular pattern tool on the ribbon. If we click that, it's going to ask for the features. So the feature I want is this, but you notice it's a square. So I'm going to click on that, and then up here there's a pattern solids, and I'm going to click that. Then I have to click the arrow that says rotation axis and then click on the inside of the circle. And now I have my fins going around and I can put the number of fins I want on here. So if I only want three fins, I'm going to click three and click OK. And now I have my, my fin design. Okay. And that will slide onto my body too. 
So in order to save this, you're going to go up to iPro and save. And in here, the drop down, the saving menu, you're going to find class CMW. Yours will look a little different than mine. Rogers, try one, hour three, and you'll find your name. In here, then, the file name, you're going to type in Rocketfin and save that. Now, this will save the drawing, but it will not save it so that we can use it for a 3D printer. So to save it for a 3D printer, you're going to go back to iPro. You're going to go down to Save As, but don't click on it. Just hover over it. Move over to Save Copy As. And this should be your folder again. And then all you have to do is go into Save As Type and change that to an STL file. And then Save. Now that will give you your file so that I can 3D print it. If you don't do that step, it can't get 3D printed. And that is how you make your rocket fin.